Grotta di Lamalunga, near the city of Altamura within Italy, holds an astonishing secret. For untold millennia, the enigmatic remains of an ancient person has been slowly growing within these caverns. As the world, their existence, and indeed the subsequent ruins of this life, have turned to dust around them, these remains were encapsulated, nestled among a chain of growing calcite crystals. Known as the Altamura Man, it is thought that far back within Earth's distant history, Altamura Man fell through a crevasse, unfortunately landing on stalactites, impaling him to this day among growing calcite. Discovered in 1993 by a team of speleologists, intriguingly, just like ancient remains we recently shared upon our community page, remains which conveniently and subsequently vanished, Altamura Man's remains are embedded in rock strata, indicating to us, and many others, an enormous age. However, fortunately, the Altamura Man has gradually been absorbed into the surrounding geology, meaning that no matter how controversial, they cannot be removed easily. Thus, during the last 20 years of study, most investigation has merely been observational. And although academically funded DNA results have indicated an age of around 180,000 years, with this age predictably astounding the many conditioned and limited minds throughout modern academia, we feel he may be far older. The rock strata in which he is embedded is one method of indication, which could be used to define a true age. Additionally, the consistent rate at which stalactites grow, or indeed the calcite around him, could also have been used over the last 20 years to give an accurate dating. However, DNA evaluation has been the only publicly disclosed dating done. Altamura Man is the most complete, possibly pre-Paleolithic skeleton ever to be discovered. Not only is he complete, he has grown. How old is the Altamura Man? The find desperately needs self-funded, capable individuals to demonstrate via the consistent growth found at the site its true age. We will, of course, keep you posted.